Hello and welcome to part 2 of um, my character modeling tutorial. We are back with our character here. Um, so yeah, so we're going to continue with this. Um, so the next step is to um, make our body um, so that it can be split for uh, so you can mirror it. Um, now because our model doesn't have a line running down the middle uh, we can loop cut one in using the thing that we just used on the last one by pressing Alt, uh, Control R and then if you have it on this uh, one of the lines that goes across the top you can cut the model sort of right through the middle like so and um, again if you press middle cut uh, middle button it'll cut it right through the middle completely um, you may need to do it on the other side as well yep we do so what you can do for that is you can press control numpad 1 and it'll take you to the opposite view of numpad 1 which is not the front but the back and um, it even lines up perfectly with this um, sheet here that we're using which is handy uh, so yeah so now what we're going to do is just press control R again and do the middle line so now it's cut on both sides all the way up all the way down cool so now we're back to the front and um, Press B and box select this entire side here. So I'm going to get as close to that line as possible, grabbing all the vertices but not grabbing that line. And then once you've got them all, you can just press X and make sure you select vertices. And that'll cut your model in half. So if you have a look at it, it's half of the model. Then you go back to front view and um, go down here to modifiers panel, which is in your editing buttons. And um, you want to click mirror and um, do clipping and you can see how it's not quite perfect um, side by side like that so um, there's a quick way to fix that we could either a, just grab this middle line here um, make sure do clipping is on and just move it across until they touch um, or you could have also moved the two pieces together entirely or a couple other things but yeah that way it works um, so now that we've got our body and our head and stuff all mirrored, we can press tab go into edit mode and continue by creating the arms. Uh, so we go to side view and press numpad 3 and um, you can see that we can't see the vertices completely because we're on the wrong side of it. So go back to edit mode, sorry, uh, object mode and press M to mirror, uh, control, control M to mirror and then press X for the X axis and press enter. Now we go back in, we can see all the vertices and faces and whatnot. So yeah, so uh, we're going to create the arms. So for that we need to press Z so we can see through it onto our little picture below it. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to extrude it from this face here. So first what we want to do is go to uh, line select mode. And um, because our arm needs to be fairly round, we want to... Um, split all these faces here. So um, select all four of them, then press W and subdivide. And that'll subdivide each of them. And then we can just grab these, grab this point in the middle, delete it, and grab all these points here um, before we put it all together. We can you just grab them and move them so that they're slightly more rounded shape like so it doesn't have to be fitting the arm in the background just as long as it um it's nice and round okay so now just select those faces and um uh you can just press e to extrude and click edges only then um uh, right click and we'll go back to front view and then just press g to grab and we'll grab it and move it along a little bit just to create the armpit area there. Um, then what you can do is you can press S X 0 and that will uh, make sure you turn it off that make sure that that's a mean point and then S X 0 X there we go. Right, so now it's all flat on this view here and uh, just move it out to there to create sort of the shoulder. Um, we can even move this back and up a little bit, I reckon. Like that. Just create like a hump in 
the shoulder kind of thing. And then grab them all again. And proceed to extrude. Um, then go down. Now you want to have your arm going straight out because that's the easiest way um, to have it. It's the best way to have it, I reckon. And um, so yeah, so then... Because otherwise when you rig it, it ends up looking really weird. Um, so then you just extrude it out. Um, we'll have a vertice here for the elbow. So move that out a bit, I reckon. This is where our elbow is going to be, so we need a little bit of vertices for control there. And then extrude again uh, to about there for our hand. And I'm um, just going to, from there, make a hand. We can just give it together. Um, so extrude it out, um, then you want to start moving around in 3D and creating your hand. Um, scale it up, I suppose. Uh, just whatever you feel. Extrude across there, and I'll create the thumb, thumb from this finger here. Um, it doesn't have to be high quality because this is going to be a game model, so uh, you want to keep it as little vertices as possible. Um, so we have a little thumb there. Uh, we probably need to move this part of the hand in a bit, just so that it, um, yeah. Actually, I'm not sure which way is forward. So if we go to the front view, yeah, okay, so this side here is forward, so grab that, move it this way a bit more. using all your basic transformations like rotating, scaling, and um, grabbing, and uh, yeah. Um, another good thing to do sometimes is to um, go into object mode and just click set smooth here, and what that does is it smooths everything out. Uh, we will just create, I think he has three fingers on the picture. Uh, we'll give him three fingers. Um, grabbing all of these. Oh, another cool thing I found out is you press uh, shift, alt, and left click on an edge. So maybe we need to be in edge like mode. Shift, uh, right click. Shift, alt, and right click. It'll select um, an edge ring like this. So you see how you've got all those edge rings. Yeah, so alt, right click does that. That's pretty cool. And um, so from that we can just extrude out that way. Uh, scale it down a bit, I suppose, and then uh, we can actually texture on the fingers, so we'll just have it like a mitten. We just need any fine control anyway, really. And then extrude and W merge center. And move it out a little bit. Just like the middle vertice. And move it out a little bit like so. And then we have some little hands. Okay, if we, um, Subdivide these, W, subdivide, and just scale it out a bit, that'll work. Um, then just grab these points here and scale them out a bit again. To make it a leg, maybe move this to make it more rounder. And then grab these faces, I just changed the um, face select mode temporarily so that it's easier to select those faces. And um, you just want to press extrude, region. And uh, we'll just grab it and move it straight down and rotate it. And go from this view and rotate it. You can also just press uh, scale Z0. It lines them all up and stuff, but it's better to rotate it first. Otherwise you get things growing really small and stuff. But yeah, so have the leg come out like that. And then just extrude it down to where a knee would be. And then um, down to the feeder. I'm not following the thing exactly in case um, I thought I missed something there. But um, yeah, and then shoot it one last time. And W merge center. Yeah. So there we have it. Our um, little character dude. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And um, yeah, the next one should be out fairly soon.